Hey Kinder, it's almost dinner time and I'm getting a little hungry, are you? Yeah, well, I was thinking of cooking pizza tonight. Raise your hand if you like pizza. Oh, I see lots of hands going up. Me too, I love pizza. So you are in luck because we're actually gonna get to read a how-to book teaching us how to make pizza today. So, cook in a book. Pizza, an interactive recipe book. No food required. Illustrated by Loida Neiman. Let's make a pizza. Here are the ingredients. One and a half cups of warm water, two cups of grated mozzarella cheese, one teaspoon of sugar. Oh, interesting. I don't usually put sugar in my pizza. One third cup of extra virgin olive oil and a little extra for greasing. And one 24 ounce of tomato sauce one teaspoon of active dry yeast, and four cups of breaded flour. So those are all the ingredients that we need to make our pizza, but let's see what kind of tools we might need. You'll also need one large spoon, one large grease bowl, one small mixing bowl, one large mixing bowl, one knife or pizza cutter, one damp dish towel, one measuring cup, one teaspoon, and two greased baking sheets. Let's see how we actually do this. Step one, pour the warm water into the small mixing bowl and stir in the yeast, sugar. Let it sit for a few minutes until bubbly. Shake the salt, shake, shake, shake. Pour the flour. And then step two, combine the flour and salt in the large mixing bowl. See what step three is. Step three, add everything else. Drizzle in the olive oil, pour in the yeast mixture. So you're adding all of that in. We're making the dough right now. And stir it together with the large spoon until the ingredients become a big clump of dough. Mix, 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 mix. Step four. Place the dough onto a floured surface and knead it. Kneading is kind of like when you play with Play-Doh, you press it down really gently and softly so you're kneading your dough for about five minutes until it becomes smooth and stretchy. Step five, put the dough in the grease bowl and cover it with the damp dish towel. So you're putting the dough into the, dip, the bowl and then you're covering it with a damp towel. Set it aside for one or two hours until the dough has doubled its size. Hey, Kinder, let's check on how our dough is doing. I, I already put all the ingredients in, I mixed it up, I kneaded it. So I put it in the fridge for about one to two hours. It's been about two hours, um, a little damp cloth. Let's see if it's doubled. <gasps> it's doubled in size. So we are definitely ready for the next step. Let's read our book and find out what we have to do next. Whoa, that dough doubled in size. Let's see what we have to do next. Let's see, step six. Preheat the oven to 500 degrees or 400, depending on your dough. Divide the dough in half. Stretch and flatten each half onto its own greased baking sheet. These are your crust. Step seven, bake the item in the oven without the toppings for three minutes. Real ovens are hot. Always ask an adult for help. So let's actually set the oven and my pizza dough. I think I'm gonna do 400 degrees. So 400, put the crust into the oven and we're only gonna bake it for how many minutes everybody? Only three. Let's check in the kitchen and see how we're doing. It's time to roll the dough. So before we do that, very important at all times, but let's wash our hands. So I'm gonna wash my hands, get some soap. Wash those hands, make sure there's no germs before we cook. That's very, very important. Okay, wipe my hands down. All right, so now we need to roll out the dough, but actually before we roll the dough out, we need to preheat our oven. So come on over. We're gonna preheat our oven to about 400 degrees. 
It depends on your oven. Ask your mom and dad, they'll be able to help you with that. So I'm gonna preheat to 400 before we actually put it in there. Now I'm ready to roll my dough. So I'm gonna take this paper towel. I'm gonna actually grease my pan so that the pizza does not get stuck. I'm gonna get some olive oil, put a little bit on my tissue, and then I'm gonna put it all over my pan like this. Now I'm gonna roll out my dough. So I'm gonna take my dough, put it on the pan, and in the book it said to put it into two. I think I'm just gonna make one big pizza, so I'm just gonna roll it out as one. Miss Pam does not have a rolling pin, so I'm gonna use what I have in the kitchen. I have this little hydro flask that I got for Christmas. I think I'm gonna use it as a rolling pin because it's smooth. You can use anything that's smooth. I'm gonna use this and then roll it out. So I'm pushing and rolling it out so that it's the shape of a pizza. Rolling it. It's working. If you have a rolling pen, pen, pin, definitely use it. I'm gonna flatten it out. So it looks more like a pizza. This looks pretty good, like a little mini pizza. Roll it out a little bit more ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put it in the oven because it looks like it's about 400 degrees now. We're going to put it in the oven for three minutes. How many minutes? Just three because we're going to make it brown enough for us to put the toppings in. So I'm going to put it in the oven. I'm going to leave it for three minutes. Okay, I'll catch you guys in a little mm, bit. Mmm, that pizza dough smells really, really good. Okay, let's see what we do next. Step eight, scoop the sauce onto the hot crust and spread it around with the back of a spoon. So you're gonna spread the sauce, spread, spread, spread. Step nine, add the cheese and any of your favorite toppings. Sliced tomatoes, grated cheese, diced ham, sliced olives, I love olives on my pizza. Diced green peppers, basil leaves, roasted garlic, sliced mushrooms, pepperoni. What's your favorite topping? Ooh, I heard someone say pineapple. I love pineapple on my pizza too. Should we check in the kitchen? Let's check in the kitchen and see how they're doing. Oh, there's a timer. Three minutes is up. Let's take the pizza out. When you're taking this pizza out, make sure your mom and dad does it or someone in your family who's older because it is very hot. So I'm gonna take it out. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, and we can see the dough starting to cook a little bit. I'm gonna leave it here so that it can cool off. Um, but I'm gonna come over here and get all the things ready because in the book it said to spread the tomato sauce. So I have my pizza sauce. It also said to get the toppings ready because we're gonna put all our favorite toppings on the pizza. I'm gonna show you some of the toppings I'm putting on my pizza. So I love spinach, kale, and arugula. So I brought some of that. Some mushrooms, love mushrooms. I love olives on my pizza. So I got some olives. Also, some pepperoni. These, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Miss Pam, I thought you were vegan. You were right. These are vegan pepperonis. You can definitely get these if you want to eat a little healthier at Sprouts or Whole Foods or Trader Joe's. And then I also got some vegan mozzarella cheese to sprinkle on top of my pizza. So those are my toppings. You can feel free to choose whatever toppings you want on your pizza. But let me go grab the pizza. Oh, actually, before we do, I'm going to chop up my last set of toppings. I also love onions on my pizza, so I'm gonna chop up my onions. I like mine a little bit long, so I'm gonna chop them up like this. I'm gonna put it in the plate so that I can sprinkle them out. Actually, maybe I should cut them into cubes. They're kind of too long. Cut them smaller. And make sure your mom and dad or grandparents or your uncle or your aunt are helping you chop these up, or your brother or sister. So chop up enough of this. This is a lot, that's extra. I'm gonna do that for later. Put this into, uh oh, whoops, don't eat that. Put that there. Toss these in the trash can. Wash my hands. Remember, wash your hands as many times as possible. You don't wanna get germs into your food. Let me go grab the pizza. Use this so I don't burn myself. I'll bring it over here. It's time to sauce this up. You ready? So first we're gonna take our pizza sauce 
And in the book, it says to use the back of our spoon to spread it on the pizza. So I'm gonna take the spoon, maybe do a few drops of sauce. I like mine extra saucy, so I might do four scoops. I mean, you can always add more if it's not enough. Take the back of my spoon, spread it on my pizza. Spreading it, so it's all over my pizza. I think this looks pretty good. Now that I have my sauce on, I'm gonna put the toppings on. So, hmm, what should I start with? I like my pizza extra cheesy, so I like to do two layers of cheese. So I like to just first start with the bottom with some cheese, then put some cheese on the bottom, some vegan cheese. Now that I have the bottom layer, I'm gonna put my next thing, I think I'm gonna put some arugula and kale and spinach. Love that, so let me put that there. Um, oh, trash, that though. Okay, now I'm gonna put some olives. I love olives. Put some olives on my pizza. Also some onions, grab some onions, toss them all over. I love pineapple on my pizza, so I'm gonna put some pineapple on it too. And then let's top it with some vegan pepperonis. And last but not least, so that it's extra cheesy, I'm gonna sprinkle another layer of my vegan cheese on top. enough like the pizza's coming together let's see what we do next step 10 bake for another 10 minutes or until the crust is golden brown slice them up with a pizza cutter or knife and taste what you've made mmm delicious the end and let's go check in with miss fam in the kitchen and see how she's doing over there oh 10 minutes is up time to take out that pizza let's take it out and see if it's ready turn off the oven let's pull it out don't forget your gloves Ooh, it is looking brown this looks like it is all cooked so now that I've taken it out it's time to slice it up I don't have a pizza slicer so you can always use a knife not you, make sure an adult does this part. I'm gonna cut up my pizza. Try to be gentle. Slice it up. Oy. How do I wanna cut this? Six slices? I don't know. You can cut it however you want, big or small. Now that it's cut up, Let's see if it's still too hot. It might be a little too hot. Let me try to lift one up. Whew. And I wash my hands before. Make sure you do too. And I'm gonna taste it now. Mmm, delicious. Don't talk with your mouth full. All right, my friends. I hope you had fun cooking with Miss Fam. See if you can make a pizza with your family and I'll see you later. Bye.